Malawi has been named as the poorest nation on earth. The World Bank calculated that the country's gross domestic product averaged out at just over $226 per person. Nine out of the ten poorest nations in their survey are in Africa. Um, I'm joined now by someone who knows Malawi well. James Woods is Malawi Director of the Business Council for Africa. Welcome to Africa, Rap James. So, why Malawi? What is it about this, this country that leads it to be named as the poorest country in the world? Well, um, Malawi, as, um, as probably um, as for those who know Malawi, um, over the years we have had problems of poverty and we've always lingered around the, the top ten poorest countries. So this isn't coming as a surprise that we're still in that category. But if we look at the, the reasons um, over the last couple of years, it's been very volatile. So when you look at the GDP per capita of Malawi, one year it's going really well. If you look at the time of Bingwa Mutarika, the former president, so roughly about 2004 to 2009, Malawi had the fastest growing economy. From a low base, presumably. From, yeah, from a low base. But now you fast forward, we're back to actually being a low-performing country. So it's, it's very volatile in how they're performing. And now there's a few significant factors that contribute to that. Um, one of the contributing factors that we can look at in the last two years would be um, the corruption scandal in Malawi, Cashgate. Um, which over um, tens of millions of dollars were siphoned from the system, money that could have been reinvested in creating new sectors which actually helped produce for the country. And siphoned by who? Um, this was siphoned by the last administration. Um, so basically, um, th that has had an effect. Um, I think um, there may be arguments against it, but that has had a, a very, very big effect on that. Secondly, um, we're also heavily reliant on agriculture. About 85% of our export revenue is through agriculture, and 70% of that is tobacco. Now, as we do know, tobacco itself, um, world prices, they, they continue fluctuating. So we need to diversify the economy, move away from tobacco, look at other sectors. So we can add um, sugar, tea, which add to an extra 90% of the export. If you add that to tobacco, that's an extra 90% of um, export revenue. But then again, there's a competition with Kenya, Ethiopia on tea. We're, we're sending um, unprocessed tea. So we're having big problems in that. Um, you know, f further to that, um, we're looking at um, an issue of um, what, what I'll call as a, as a cause of these symptoms, which becomes a governance issue. Um, what I state by governance over here is that um, Malawi in 1994 moved from, multi from a single party system to a multi party system. But yet the administrative structures still remain the same, where the government controls almost all aspects of the economy. So we have over 80 parastatals of the key sectors looking at the agric agricultural board, electrical board, who all report to the president. Okay, so that's, that's, that's quite an interesting so, uh, list there corruption, uh, a lack of diversity in yes. agriculture, and, and uh, governance issues. So you've summed that up very okay. well <laughs> in just a couple of minutes. It's not going to come as a surprise to anyone in Malawi, I would guess. So where is the drive coming from to change this, to address this? Okay, now uh, Malawi, um, just um, last year we had an election um, where the, the D Democratic Progressive Party under Peter Mutarika won. They're trying to put in together methods um, and measures that are going to address this. Um, so to be honest with you, right now it's too, still too early to see the change that will happen, bearing in mind on the results we've just seen. But um, President Mutarika just a week ago has put together the Public, Re um, Public Service Reforms Act, whereby he is taking away the powers bestowed on the president and controlling the key sectors and the appointments. So a new president is giving away power? He's giving away his power for appointments in these key parastatals and key sectors for the country. Whereby the problem we've had is that every time a government changes, we seem to take a step back because now you have all these parastatals changing of CEOs, heads of the organizations are changing. So their strategy is only a short-lived strategy right. for development. So it's constantly every five years a new strategy is being developed. And um, I think the new president has realized that this is a major problem. But um, he's, he mentioned this a week ago that he'll be giving away his powers on that. So hopefully that will have a very big effect. We're trying to improve very much in the natural resource sector. So Malawi just recently has also been found to have significant amount of oil. So the new president, uh, once again, is trying to attract more investors in the oil and gas industry. And again, this, this has to come from, from, from outside because this, presumably there's no, there's no indigenous, there's no native oil industry there. Yes, there is get. no native. So that's coming from the outside. But once again, that also brings us problems. But um, we need to uh, attract the right sort of investors to the country, safeguard the environment. So there is that that we need to look into. Um, the, the president himself as well is also... As we're looking at it, he's also cutting the, um, he's cutting the amount of expenditure government is using. So he's limited trips within the country. So our ministers and members of parliament only allowed about eight trips a month okay, locally. So it, so it looks like now, in, yeah. his fir in his first year, he is looking to address the, the, a, a lot yes. of the, the, those sort of systemic problems that, that you identified. Yes. Does it necessarily follow that just because um, uh, the Malawi is poor that the, the, the people are suffering? Are the people suffering? I think um, it, it depends on the areas you're looking at um, because, once again, poverty is poverty, but we, we can measure happiness within poverty. So it depends on the areas. Um, I was, um, you know, um, we've been discussing this over the last few weeks um, around the world about the floods in Malawi. So right now people are coupled with poverty and also being, being, being homeless, 
lack of food, lack of, um, lack of accommodation, lack of clothing. So th there is a lot of problems that the country is facing just beyond being named the poorest country. Okay, so we should, we should look for progress over, over, the, over the term of this president, unless, as happens so often in Africa, he changes his mind and decides to stay. Um, fingers crossed. Thank you so much, James. <laughs>